Now that we've set up the character and the scene to work with pun, it's time to see if it works. We actually do have one more step to perform and that's to specify which character should spawn when the scene loads. I'm going to specify this Nolan prefab that we created in the single character spawn manager. The spawn manager component can be subclass, so for example if you wanted to have a character that looks different for each team you could do that. But in this case the single character spawn manager will just spawn a single character. So let's go ahead and hit save and now we need to create our intro scene that will load the main game scene for pun and I'm going to create a new game object called menu and add this menu manager. This menu manager is from the demo scene and it's just a really lightweight component that will basically just load a new pun scene. The scene that we want to load is named video and let's go ahead and save that and call it menu. Now we need to specify the build settings and we want to add the menu scene and then we also want to add the video scene. Let's go back to menu and we should be able to hit play now and see if it works as a single player instance. And so it will automatically load the video scene and we can see that it's doing that. And cool, looks like we have a pun character that's spawned. Let's now actually build it and see what happens when we have more than one instance. So I'm going to go ahead and start building it. The build process took a bit so I didn't keep recording, but we can see now that after the game has been built, I have two instances that are running and there's my remote player and there I am. And then let's just take a look at the moving platform with each instance and make sure it looks synchronized and it looks pretty good to me. Um, let me go ahead and jump on this one and he should stay in synchronized with it so yeah that looks good um, I can pick up the bow and I can fire it and on the remote player instance we can see yeah there's the bow so everything is staying synchronized I can shoot my other character and he'll get damaged if I shoot the crate the crate will explode so yeah everything looks like it's working well so now that we successfully set up pun on the scene and the character and we also showed it working, I wanted to jump back into the scene to point out one thing. If you change the scene after you've run the scene setup manager, you will want to run that scene setup manager again. So let's go ahead and add a cube that has a collider on it. And if I run scene setup, we will see that this scene object identifier component is added. This identifier can be thought of as a lightweight photon view component and it just allows this object to be identified over the network so that if you have a melee weapon that attacks the object this ID can be sent rather than the entire photon view needing to be sent and it just makes it a much more lightweight and convenient way to send an ob identifier for a particular object in the scene. And let's just use another example. We'll go back to this crate that we've already added. We'll see that it also has a scene object identifier that also has a unique ID. So that was the only thing that I wanted to point out by saying that if you change a scene, add new colliders with melee weapons, you'll want to run this setup scene button again. And that's really all that it takes in order to get your character and scene set up to work with this pun multiplayer add-on.